Organized by the Ministry of Transport, Communications and Information Technology, the Green Mobility Forum came to share the latest updates within the transport sector to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2050. Oman has committed to 2050 as a carbon neutral uh, year. 18% uh, of our emissions at the moment comes from the uh, transport uh, sector, be it uh, the aviation, uh, road transport or uh, the marine uh, activities. We believe that we are on target to achieve uh, the interim uh, targets, for example 3% uh, reduction by 2030, 35 by 2040 and a complete uh, green, uh, basically, uh, uh, green transformation by 2050. This forum aims to deliver three main targets, which are the empowerment of the transport, communications and information technology sector through innovation and development in cooperation with public and private sector, enhancement of local added value and finally development of local cadres. Those targets will be achieved through three different stages, namely a near one that aims to stimulate electrical vehicles and the use of hydrogen for heavy transport and trucks, the use of biofuels, enabling technology to reduce emissions, enabling all main roads with chargers for electrical vehicles, organizing big data for the transport sector, setting free frameworks and legislation for future mobility such as the Internet of Things within transportation. The mid-stage aims to strengthen the ministry's efforts with partners in increasing the number of environmentally friendly vehicles, enabling the use of sustainable fuel for aircraft, providing smart mobility services as a service, and establishing a regional centre to provide ships with green fuel, reducing poor emissions and upgrading existing fuel stations to contain hydrogen fuel, in addition to linking public transport with the metro scheme in Muscat Governorate, while the final stage focuses on the overall trend of environmentally friendly vehicles and autonomous driving. We have signed five different agreements, uh, two of them between the Ministry of uh, Transport, uh, Communication and Information Technology, uh, with uh, two different entities. One of them where we will collaborate and we will be uh, sort of uh, uh, a strategic partner in the Oman Sustainable Week, uh, in the Expo. And we have la launched, uh, uh, we have launched uh, the, the, the Green Mobility Awards, where we will be celebrating this uh, yearly to, to award the best uh, practices in the green mobility. We launch uh, 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 our first Omani uh, electric vehicle charging solution or charging company, which uh, uh, almost 76 chargers are there, installed and operated. It is experienced by the EV users now in Oman and it's, it's from uh, the border with UAE till uh, Salala. Uh, people can, uh, the drivers of EV can drive the EV without a range anxiety, without a hustle, so they, they, no worries for them. On the sidelines of this forum, a number of agreements and memorandums of understanding were signed. One to organize Oman Sustainability Week, another to install and prepare the infrastructure for electrical vehicle chargers in the Sultanate of Oman, in addition to AC chargers for destinations and more to build an interconnected and integrated network of electrical chargers that enable fast and safe charging. Also, a signing of establishment for Evo Company to provide charging solutions for electric cars. A memorandum of understanding was also signed to start purchasing electric vehicle chargers from local Omani small and medium enterprises, in addition to signing a memorandum of understanding for the use of advanced technologies of electric chargers from local Omani small and medium enterprises. All efforts are aligned to achieve the ultimate goal net zero by 2050. The Green Mobility Forum that we witnessed today does come to share the most prominent update within the transport sector. For the Sultanate of Oman Television, Ahmed bin Hilal al-Busaidi, Masqat.